Come on in. Mr. B, you got a minute? Yes, I do. The client got a notice, right? And we reviewed it. And we actually did a 1040X, and we knocked down the notice from 59,000 to 43,000. That's a good job. Okay. But then he got a second notice without telling us, and he signed for a tax change of 71,000. So how do you want to address this? The problem is this, is that once you sign this document, we cannot change or challenge the U.S. tax court. So I think here's what I do. Just contact the client and let him know we're going to get back to him in two days. Okay. And what I think we should do is we should contact the IRS and see if there's any way we can make that adjustment and bring it back to 43000 instead of seventy two. Okay. All right? Uh -huh. So let's do it today. Mm -hmm. In the meanwhile, when you hire a tax specialist, Please follow their advice and don't do anything on your own. In this case, the client signed without consulting with us and now he ended up owing about $30,000 that he didn't need to owe. Second, this morning we also got a call about a client contacting the revenue officer and the revenue officer is telling us that the client is contacting him directly. When you have somebody who is on the power of attorney, you're not supposed to be contacting the IRS. Because when you contact the IRS directly and you're dealing with the revenue officer, they can always bypass our power of attorney and they'll be dealing directly with you because you allow them to do that, which will make it difficult for us to resolve your tax issue.